Well, justifiably, there are concerns about the health effects of red tide and what can be done to reverse the spread of the algae bloom. We pose some of those questions to Dr. Larry Brand, professor of marine biology at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science. But I uh, looked at 50 years worth of data on red tide here in Florida on the west coast, and what I found is that today it's like 15 times more abundant than what it was 50 years ago. Now to get 15 times more red tide, you need 15 times more nutrients. Uh, and I can't think of any natural sources of nutrients that would have increased 15 fold in the past 50 years. But what obviously has increased dramatically over the last 50 years in South Florida is the number of people and all the associated activities. So it's a huge increase in agriculture, huge change in the watersheds, uh, increase in sewage and septic tanks, increase in lawn fertilizer. Uh, what you really need to do is cut off those nutrients at their source. You need to, because once you let those nutrients into our, our public waterways, uh, there's no really easy or inexpensive way to get them back out. Now you can find much more on Red Tide on CBSMiami.com, including our 30-minute special, The Everglades, where politics, money, and race collide. Last year, Jim DeFiti looked at the impact of the toxic blue-green algae, its causes, and the political and economic crisis that followed. That's in the region uh, near Lake Okeechobee.